Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. Happy Halloween out there to everyone that does celebrate Halloween. Um, but with that in mind, let's talk about a few things, right? So I put out a tweet over on Twitter for anybody that does follow me, or if you don't follow me, you should be following me at this current moment in time. Like, listen, as things are heating up around crypto, now is probably the best time to be not only following me over on Twitter, but also being in the free Discord down in the description below because there's a lot to go over. But I put out a tweet and I said, those that are in this space researching and learning are already extremely wealthy in wisdom beyond 99% of the population. 5% of the global population is invested in crypto. I'd like to believe a fraction of that even understands and is invested in tokens like XRP and many other ones. In all actuality, the utility maxis of the space are already the new 1%. We are just waiting for time to catch up. We know what we hold. We research what we hold. We are constantly learning and digesting extremely valuable information 24-7, 365. I said, the world can't stop what's coming and most are too distracted to see what's coming. Every single major event in the last 10 plus years have been aligning for a new financial system to rise. There will there will be accelerants like 2008, COVID-19, etc. that will push the timeline even closer. You must be aware of what's going on and ignore the distractions around you. I truly respect and honor those that have gone through the ups and downs in the space and have not been shaken out. This space is not for the weak. You will endure psychological warfare. This space will beat you down. People can call it luck, but we all know how hard it is to succeed in this space. Most will be shaken out by impatience alone, but being able to survive the 90% plus drawbacks takes a special kind of mindset and a complete realignment of your emotion controls. Our time is coming. It might sound repetitive, but a major change is on the horizon and you'd have to be blind at this point to not realize it. I can't wait for every single one of you to finally be able to say, I made it because listen, at the end of the day, as we see what's going on in traditional finance, as we see what's happening around crypto, around all of these elites, they have been telling us the secret behind what they are trying to accomplish with this technology for years. Yet most people are too, are just too distracted. They don't want to actually look into this. They want quick gains. They want the green candles. They want to have you know immediate wealth. And this is what I call instant gratification. People want to jump into crypto and invest on Monday and get out by Friday and go buy the Lamborghini. It's nonsense. You need to have a complete realignment of your mindset. I understand that we want to get wealthy and we will. Time is coming for us. I want you all to understand that right now is one of the best times to be looking into the space and researching the actual things that matter. The implementation plan, standardization, regulations, things that are actual steps in the right direction around progress to the adoption timeline. So as we look at that, right? Right now, as we are speaking, as we are talking, as we are looking into this video that you guys are watching, one of the biggest things that I've been aware of is the new cycle. Listen, we will experience bull cycles during this entire time. A lot of people are saying, well, we're not going to have major crypto adoption until, you know, 10 years down the road. Even if that is the case, we will still experience bull and bear cycles. Right now, as we look at Bitcoin, it is nearing 34.5K yet again. Most altcoins are experiencing incredible runs, and they've already experienced incredible runs this year alone. In the last 24 hours, we are starting to see double-digit figures yet again on the board. In the last seven days, we still see incredible growth within some of these altcoins that we have been talking about for a while. And XRP just recently, by the way, broke out of significant resistance at about 56 cents. We are watching and waiting to see the next level of interest hit, which is around 65 cents. We still have some you know, levels of interest to break over, but for the most part, XRP looks pretty good right now. 
But the reason why I'm talking about this and the reason why I'm talking about the next cycle is because I do believe that we are gearing up for a major run in the market. Big shout out to Credible Crypto. He actually put out a tweet regarding Bitcoin and also the comparison to the SPX, the S&P 500. Here we have Bitcoin already aggressively outperforming the SPX off or lows. As traditional equities remain sluggish and Bitcoin continues pumping like mad, where do you think traditional market investors' attention will go? Remember what I've said. Guess what? There is nearly $6 trillion out there on the sidelines waiting to invest. This is money market funds. This is where people park their money in case of a recession. They are planning and preparing for a recession. That's what they are waiting for. We just recently talked about how liquidity in the markets is actually improving. But beyond that, crypto is outperforming traditional finance. So where do you think money is going to start to uh, pour into? And by the way, a lot of this is institutional grade uh, money. As we actually see on 1025, October 25th, there is about roughly 2 point, almost 2 trillion from retail. Um, institutional money is about roughly 3 point, almost 5 trillion. Very significant amounts of money here. But we do see here, that's a $45 trillion market in the US alone, and a portion of that will find its way into the 1.3 trillion crypto market, starting with the 700 billion market cap king of them all, Bitcoin. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. As Bitcoin outperforms the SPX, money and attention from traditional markets will shift into Bitcoin, leading it to outperform even more, leading more money and attention to flow into it. And the cycle repeats. And guess what? After the Bitcoin cycle, we all know what happens to altcoins. It's going to get very interesting very fast. But we do see new all-time highs are coming faster than you think, and most are unprepared and caught off guard, expecting another 6 to 12 months at these levels before they need to be paying attention. This is one of the biggest mistakes. My bags have been more and more um, fo focused on utility gems. And right now, currently, I have about maybe 15, maybe 10% stables on the sidelines. I've already packed my bags heavily. I've said this. Back in 2022, I was packing my bags very, very heavy. Even during FTX, I said that that was most likely going to be the bottom because that was max fear. But we do see, I'll see you guys at the top. And here we have the Bitcoin chart of where we are essentially going to head to. Listen, I actually think that um, this market is ready to wake up. One of the big things that I've been looking at is what the Fed is doing. Shout out to Jungle Inc. XRP over on uh, Twitter. We do see Fed has lost control, bank collapse, commercial real estate disaster, or pension fund uh, devastation. Something is running up quickly. Listen closely to this video. I said we are in completely uncharted territory. Things are going to go worse next week because of the fact that the Fed is totally out of control and they don't know what to do next. So you are absolutely correct. I think unintended consequences are going to happen. I've been saying that on your show for quite some time, whether it be a huge bank failure, whether it should be pension funds losing a lot of money, commercial real estate suddenly worsening, or a CLO, commercial uh, loan market, and uh, uh, levered obligations having difficulty, somewhere it, things are going to break. And rather than expecting three to six months, I'm going to say within the next four or five weeks. I so there you guys have it right before Christmas. Uh, wipeout of the retail sector, essentially. Listen, as we look at this, one thing is in my mind, that's for sure, is the fact that why are people that are in crypto so scared? I put out a tweet back in March. It was March 19th. I said, this is the moment crypto proves how resilient it is against the traditional banking sector. It's going to get very interesting very fast. Here we have Bitcoin. Do you guys see this date? March 10th. During this time, this entire area here, this was bank failures in traditional finance. Everyone was saying during this time, oh, look at Bitcoin. I thought Bitcoin was supposed to be resilient against uh, bank failures. This level here, was significant because at this current moment in time, people lost faith in crypto, being resilient against the banking sector. But then guess what? It proved just how resilient it can be against traditional financial scares like bank failures. This thing did a roughly 
50, almost 9% gain. And overall, if we actually go here to the summertime, it did a 63%. And now, currently speaking, off of those lows, just at the current price, 76%. At the top here, it was about roughly 79, almost 80%. That's how resilient crypto is. So as we are looking at the, the Fed and we're looking at what's going on here, this tells me that, yeah, as we do start to see traditional finance slowing and as we start to see traditional finance becoming a big uh, focus point in terms of, oh, like things are about to crash, things are about to do this, things are about to do that. I think that we should be preparing for a lot of money to flow into crypto, um, just like we've seen. Like, listen, if we go all the way back to... Um, Let's go back on the weekly chart. Let's go back to March of 2020. This was one of the darkest times in crypto. If you were around during this time, it was uncertain if crypto was basically going to zero or not. You've seen Bitcoin come back down to about roughly 3,800. People were calling for sub 3K. People were calling for the same level from December of 2018, which was about like $3,100. But then you had also doomsday calls going all the way back back down to like significant levels like everyone was calling for like crazy targets on bitcoin and crypto yet guess what we actually see what happened on bitcoin major major bounce back and bull run as we look at where we are at now from that march time frame of 2023 it's kind of similar we had a deep wick scaring the markets and then all of a sudden boom we're starting the big move now and listen Traditional mainstream media will make you fail every single time. Here you guys have CNBC at that time. More than 70 billion wiped off crypto market in 24 hours as Bitcoin drops below $20,000. And even, even there was articles written regarding this plan. For an example, Coindesk put out an incredible article back in March. Editorial, it sure looks like the US is trying to kill crypto. Here you guys have the SEC Gov, March 23rd, exercise caution with crypto asset securities investor alert. They were trying to scare people away from crypto at that time. And even now, right, as we start to see Bitcoin aggressively outperforming the S&P, one thing that I have been telling you guys is that they are going to try to start blanket attacks on crypto. Because guess what? They know how big of a risk it is to see crypto outperform traditional finance as it has every single cycle in history of crypto. But now we see things getting very interesting because as we start to see outperformance of the S&P and we start to see a lot of money flooding back into crypto, Everyone that is still waiting for the significant downward spiral and, oh, Bitcoin's going to do this, Bitcoin's going to do that. I said it recently, those that missed out buying sub 20K don't miss out buying sub 30K. We are now at 30 near $5,000. There is going to be a time in this market where people will miss out buying sub 40K. This is why I have been preparing aggressively my bags because as we see the traditional world of finance essentially up in smoke right there's been a lot of problems around traditional banking and things like that it all pinpoints for bullish crypto narratives these are catalysts i remember the march time frame of this year people were so damn bearish i'm like why are we getting bearish on bank failures this is even more bullish for crypto if you can't park your money in a bank account and have it being safe, where else are you going to park it? Crypto's too risky. That's what we heard. Oh, it's so uncertain. People don't want to park their money into something that they could lose money on. Well, well, guess what? You can go park your money on stocks too. And guess what? You could also lose your money on stocks. 2008 is a great example of this. 2020 is a great example of this. But the thing about crypto is, it's very different from stocks, crypto was essentially designed to counteract financial crises like 2008. So we were even saying during that time that this is actually very bullish for crypto. And so far, this entire year has been bullish for crypto. I mean, you go back to the beginning of the year, right? Here you guys have the beginning of the year. Bitcoin just recently did a 100% plus gain back in just the weekly candle of October 23rd. And this is not going to slow down in my opinion. Even if we back test 32K as support, which 
I'm not expecting it, but if we do, it's still very bullish because from there, we are still expecting 40K on Bitcoin. And a lot of this money that's pouring into Bitcoin, well, guess what? Just like I said over here, a lot of these tokens, these utility tokens that have incredible fundamentals behind them, we are going to start to see the money trickling from Bitcoin into Ethereum, into altcoins. And yes, I believe XRP, I believe XLM, XDC, HBAR, Casper, QNT. These gems are going to see significant price increases this year into next year. The cycle is beginning. We have about roughly two years, technically, of incredible moments in this space. And this is not the time to be fumbling around with your bags and trying to chase green. No, now is the best time to just remain patient, remain focused, and also separate your emotions from the game. I'm very, very excited for what's happening because we are seeing crypto doing what crypto does best, making traditional financial players miss out on one of the most incredible opportunities. And listen, not everyone will miss out on it, but a large portion of the general public will. Because guess what? Just like Credible Crypto is saying here, most people will be caught off guard and they will be sidelined, expecting another six to 12 months of just sideways price momentum. Just like we've seen people miss out buying sub 20K and now 20 or uh, now 30K, because I don't think that we are going to see below 30K unless we see some significant black swan event, which is possible. It is. That's why we need to prepare for either scenario. But in my opinion, I'm very bullish, at least for the next 12 months. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on because more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, this has been Nick. Peace out.